Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day today. So uh, as the title says, I'm doing a haul but it's not your traditional haul video because I already put certain things in the house. I'm just going to kind of go around to show you like all of the new things that, that I've gotten. Um, this was over the course of the last maybe like two to three months. I've been kind of like just kind of getting little things here and there. And so now that they're like you know where they're supposed to be i'm gonna go around the house and share that with you guys i'm gonna go ahead and start i just got done cleaning my closet so i'm really happy about that i'll do a video where i'm cleaning my bedroom but i don't want to share it yet because my bed will be here in about two to three weeks so when my bed gets here i'll do a clean so you guys can see my bed and see the whole like decorate with me and we can do a room tour and all that stuff so i'm really really excited so let's go ahead and get started so you guys back in january i not only shared but i also showed you guys the new hardware that i was going to be getting for the doors and you guys saw it or whatever it may not have been like a huge huge deal but this right now it is the new hardware this is the one that was previously on there and as you can see it makes for me anyway it makes a world of difference um, I like the construction of this handle a little bit nicer. It just looks a lot more sleek, contemporary. This one here is a bit more traditional. And so I really, really love this. The really great thing about the hardware is you can actually put a pin here and take this out and change it to something else. So that's what I really do love about Schlag and what they offer with their handle systems. Again, this is the before. And this is the after of how it installed and I really do love this even though the door is freshly painted I didn't have to worry about the circular um, imprint that was on there because this covered it right up and again looks really really amazing I will be leaving the link down below if you guys are interested I purchased this from build.com I am currently standing in my loft and this is my closet door as you can see you cannot go into the room whatsoever for those of you guys that aren't new this is like not a new thing so I'm gonna go ahead and push the keypad that way I can get into my room light turns green and now I have full access to get into my closet which I love you guys it's so amazing I'm gonna go ahead and put out a public service announcement even though this is a lock on the door, you have an option on the other side to unlock it. And that way you can still use it as a passageway handle and not a lock. So, if you are home alone or whatever the case may be, you don't necessarily have to lock it. I use this system so when I'm not upstairs, I'm not somewhere, whatever the case may be, I can lock my door. That way the kids don't go in there. So right now what you're seeing is the door as is, all right? And if I do this, you see this doesn't move at all, right? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna unlock the door. You see, once you unlock it, you see that? So now it no longer has a lock, it is a standard passage door. So if I'm getting dressed or I'm getting ready or I'm doing something, I will put it on the unlock mode. When I'm done getting dressed, I will then turn around and put it back on the lock mode. And now you cannot access and get into the room at all. Um, I'm sure you can see how it's not leveled all around. And that is because it gives you room in order to put the battery. So in this little small compartment here, you screw it out. There's a battery and a plug that holds onto this guy here that you kind of have to scythe through and it falls down into this little pocket area here and that's that. When the battery is dead, I am going to highly recommend you change it because then you will have no way to get in the room to um, open the door once it's dead. So if, if this thing starts to beep and tells you that you need to change your battery, change your battery. This is my master bedroom door and I have the same exact lock. The reason why I was able to open this is because I had already unlocked it from last night. And like I said, it can be your standard passageway door. See that? For you to have access. 
access. I can lock it, unlock it, and then of course if I need to get in, you have the keyless entry. The best part of this is the keyless entry because I don't have to keep up with another set of keys from what the front door has. Even though my front door still has a keypad, I won't have to look for a key. You just press it. I do plan on getting another one of these for the garage. That way, um, the garage door coming into the house has a keypad for you to be able to access to come in. Now, I really, really love this and I highly, again, highly recommend it. You'll never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, if you know me, you know that I am heavily, heavily into fragrance. I don't need to have, you know, 20 or 100. Whatever smells amazing in the house is what I'm sticking to and I'm probably gonna buy several so that when it's time to change it out, I can change it out. And recently, what I have been loving is the Jo Malone diffuser. This has been here now for about possibly two to three weeks and the loft smells amazing. Um, the guy who comes to do the bug spray, he came and he was like, what is that smell? I'm like, is it the fuser? All right, so this scent here is called Silk Blossom. I don't know if this one is still available. This is the only one that I have purchased. I do plan on making another buy, but I absolutely love it. Listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new job. So this is a corner of my storage cabinet and how I have it situated. I wanted to do something that was going to be a bit modern but not too trendy to where I had to keep changing things out. So the books that are currently on there, this one's actually a new book, okay? This is from one of my vendors. They do um, book coverings and I really do love it. I want to say I ordered... I think a set of 10 because I'm going to go down to my office and share with you guys the, my bookcase in my office so you guys can see that because I have extra books also. So I ordered this here and I have it in the extra large, large and then the medium. And I, I want to say I got a small too because like I said, I have some downstairs. And then these two here are from Home Goods. Pretty much everybody on YouTube has this one here. So you can definitely find it. If I can find it, I'll leave it in the description box. But... These books have also been um, getting sold out. I also want to point out to you my drapery in the back, which I really, really do love. Um, I wanted to select something that was going to be neutral, but also soft enough. If you can look at the fabric itself, it has black hues, brown, cream, ivory, white, and it is absolutely beautiful and it even has a little bit of like shimmery fabrics on there I say this all the time video is great pictures are great but the in-person perspective is so much better you get a really really great clarity on how something looks and you can really see the time and effort that went into it I love these um, panels a lot this is a singular panel again you can just see the quality in the fabric and Look at the color. Oh, really, really love it. Really love it. I'm excited because downstairs is going to get some really beautiful linen drapery also. It's worth the investment. Just my opinion. You know, if you're looking for it, definitely take your time and make that investment. So on this side of the cabinet, I have these books. Again, I shared the book from the last haul that I did, which is a Dior book, which I got shopping around in Atlanta through one of my vendors. This one here is from Target. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. This one, I'll leave it linked again if I can find these books. This one here is from Target. I hauled this a little while ago. And again, I just really do love it. This is also from Target. This really beautiful candle. It's called Golden Hour. This was a gift from my photographer. He came to take my pictures and he was like, congratulations on 100K. And he um, gifted me this. It smells really amazing. I'm not going to light it. I just love the color and how it goes in here. And then a friend gifted me these two lovely books. And they are from a Haitian author. His name is Pierre Alex Gentil. And um, the book is Her, Volume 1 and 2. I think it's a third one out now. As you can see, I have already started reading it. Um, when I'm home sometimes just like by myself chilling or whatever, I will grab these books and read them I think they're just really great. So we're currently in my office um, I have a lot going on and client stuff all over so 
I'm not showing the whole um, space, but I can share with you this corner. And the white books that you're currently seeing, like here and here, those are books that I ordered and they were made. So some of them have the solid backing and then some of them have more of the ridge finish on it, again, which I love. And then like this one here, I just took the book cover and put it like inside out in order to get that. And again, when it comes to the decor for the bookcase, some of it I went to Home Goods, some of it I ended up going into um, Global Views. So it's a really nice mixture of high and low decor. Of course, all of the stones over here are from Home Goods, and you can see my diffuser in the back. My office smells amazing. It's it's right now currently half full, and you can still smell it so nice in here. What I also want to share with you guys is just some other goodies from Marshalls and also Home Goods, which are the white vase here, here, and here. Those are from um marshalls so my friend saw them in in both sides left and right of the bookcase are symmetrical to each other she was like hey i saw these do you like them i'm like yes i love them and it's so crazy because if you guys remember i had already started collecting these guys right here about three years ago so to see that they're coming back was just like oh so amazing but I went on ahead and I got that. I'm still looking for something to go within this area here. But I will say, again, I love it. I wanted to do um, really light, white, and airy just because the pictures come out so, so good. I recently had a photo shoot. I'm going to put a picture right here so you guys can see it. It just looks so elegant and high-end. But I will say this area here didn't really cost me a whole lot because... I just took things off the other bookcase <laughs> and I was able to salvage some stuff and then I went to the Goodwill, the Dollar Tree and got some books and I took this piece here from the bookcase in, in the um, the living room and so that that's what I ended up doing. So I really didn't spend a whole lot. The only thing that I did, I spent maybe like maybe two to three hundred dollars on the white books. Like I said, there's a few just scattered all around the house. This isn't just all of them. But I really do love how everything turned out with the bookcase. And like I said, I, if I had to put a dollar amount on it, I would say this whole thing probably was like $500, which really isn't bad when you're doing such a huge space. But yeah, I love it. It looks good. Babe, been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone because when you're... So this is the part that I love. I haven't done a fragrance haul in so freaking long. But I have been getting fragrances. I'm gonna go ahead and bring all these down to show you all of the new buys. I wish I had like a smellogram that way you could smell my closet. I just opened up a brand new um, diffuser. I'll share it with you guys in a minute. Um, the first one here is a fragrance, but it is a, I'm gonna say moisturizer because I do feel like it moisturizes skin. And this is Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay, and it is a body cream, creme pour la peau. And this is it here. You guys absolutely love it. I actually only use this twice. I have other ones. Jo Malone also came out with some amazing summer fragrances. I wanted this body mist. This one is the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Again, really enjoying it. Really light. This is one of those um, fragrances I would say. If I'm just going into Savannah to grab me some ice cream or do a quick little brunch by myself, I will put this on. It is really, really nice, and I've gotten compliments on it. I've sprayed it twice already. This one here was a gift for my 100K, and it is the Givenchy, and I believe it's pronounced Saint Artifice. Again, you can tell just by the color. It's really light and airy and pretty. Almost gives you like, um, like a rose fragrance y'all gonna talk about me about this one here but this one is the tom ford lavender extreme i have sprayed this on maybe once or twice to go to bed right but the main purpose of this wonderful beautiful bottle is to spray it on my bed you guys it's so good and i have to say i have an amazing night's sleep i sprayed on my pillow sprayed on my linen when i make my bed and like i said it smells amazing 
I only wear it when I'm going to bed because it really has a strong lavender fragrance. The next one is the Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. Again, really amazing. I love the scent. It's sweet, like, it's really sweet. I don't know how to explain it. I would wear this in the summer and the winter, but it's definitely probably more of a summer's fragrance, but I would still wear it. It's really nice, I love it. Um, so Jo Malone also came out with some new fragrances. So um, the one that I really need to get, I can't remember the name right now. Um, oh my God, it's, it's called Tan, Tan something. I'm gonna leave it down below just in case if you guys are interested, but I'm really, really loving it. Oh, you guys, like, I took a shower, but I haven't sprayed anything on just yet. And so, like, this is amazing. Mm, oh my gosh, listen, I don't know. I'm team Jo Malone for sure, but I, you know, I kind of venture out of here and there, okay? The next one here is the Jo Malone. Again, they came out with some amazing scents for the summer. This one here is the Nashi Blossom. I love the fact that it's so clear, so it looks like it's absolutely nothing. But when you spray it on, it is heavenly. It is heavenly. This one here is also Jo Malone, and this one is the Yellow Hibiscus. Again, absolutely amazing. I love hibiscus. It's such a gorgeous fragrance, you guys. Like, super, super gorgeous. Mm. It has, like, almost like a pineapple citrusy. It's nice. It's really, really nice. If you're looking for something for the summer, I would highly recommend this. And then the one, it's called Tangerine something. I'll leave it linked down below, like I said. I'll put it in there and I'll actually label it summer. Now this one here, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm really not 100% um, fan of it. I, I'm sure you guys already know this. I love things to be very like light, spring and florally and really good. But this one here is the Maison Francis Côte Jean, and this is the Baccarat Rouge 540. Again, I'm really not a big fan of it. Once this video is over, I'm going to ship it to a friend because I already told her I was going to give it to her. But I wanted to share with you guys nonetheless. I like it, but I'm not like in love with it. What I am in love with is the Maison Francis Gentle Fluidity. It smells amazing. It's super light. It's clean. Um, the thing about me, which I just spoke to a friend about, is when I wear fragrances, I like to have kind of like my own scent. So that's probably one of the reasons why I don't gravitate towards like more of a masculine smell just because um, I like that girly feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm in a room, I need to know the difference when the lights are off, like who's who in the space. And so I, again, I tend to gravitate more to like very sweet, subtle, floral, not that a guy can't wear it, but that's what I tend to gravitate towards a little bit better. But these are... In the realm of my new fragrances um this is this is the nest okay I still love nest um, but again Jo Malone is winning me over with the with the diffuser for sure I only have one more of the nest fragrance left and then um, Tyra from what love build gifted me a Jo Malone gift card <laughs> so I'm gonna get that but this one here is the Mediterranean Fig, which is, is what I currently have in my closet. So you guys really quickly. And you guys, oh, you guys, it smells absolutely amazing. I love it. It's super clean, really nice. For the price, you're getting what you pay for. Um, I've done the plugins. You guys know that. I do the candles. You guys know that. I find that the Jo Malone candle lasts a little bit longer. Not a little bit longer, a lot longer than the Bath and Body Work candles. The diffuser lasts really, really nice. I have one in my bathroom. I have one in here. I have one in my office. Again, I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks. I highly recommend it. If you're someone where you don't want to keep doing the plugins, after about a week for me, I notice the plugins don't have that same um, strong smell to them. So I would highly recommend it. Again, I know it's a little pricey. But when I tell you it lasts, it lasts. I don't I don't like to spend money, contrary to popular belief. And what I mean by that is I like to buy something that's going to work. So that way I'm not constantly buying something. But that's pretty much it for the fragrance. And I'm going to go ahead and put everything up. All right. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. 
I will be leaving whatever I can linked in the description box down below. I think you guys are really going to love the lock. I've been using them now for approximately four to five years. I love Schlag. I just think the product overall is just really, really great. And um, I'm happy with it. I will say all the doors in the house isn't changed. I was like every month I'll do two to possibly $300. That way, you know, it kind of breaks down the payment because it's going to be quite a bit. But for right now, I'm really happy with how everything is looking. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.